Good morning, and we're here today on the deck of Raytheon Technologies under a very, very blazing sun uh, to talk about counter UAS strategies with Tom Laliberty. Hi, Tom. Hi, Alex. We're here today to talk about counter unmanned aerial system strategies. So can you tell me a little bit before we go into the nitty gritty of it? Um, what does it mean? What's the, what's the main challenge? So uh, the unmanned aerial systems is a new threat that has been presented to our warfighters. And this threat is highly proliferated, meaning there's many, many of them out there. And uh, they come uh, in uh, many different sizes and shapes. And they come from 360 degrees uh, of attack angles. And so this is a, a new threat that has been added to the air defense uh, uh, communities, threats that they have to deal with. So, I mean, there are already quite a lot of threats out there that, you know, forces have to contend with on the ground. So how does this fit, you know, on a, on, on a platform when we're looking at all the different threats? How do you integrate uh, this? So you have uh, tactical ballistic missiles, you have aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and now the, the UAS threat. And so uh, what, what you need to do essentially is have layers of defense, so layers of uh, certain systems that deal with long range, high altitude threats, medium range systems, and then shorter range systems, and then systems that specifically deal uh, with the UAS threat, including uh, the LIDS platform, which you can see behind us. What you have is a very high precision radar called the Kerfs radar, it's a KU band radar and that radar can find the threats, it can identify what they are, and then very, with very high precision track the threats and then uh, communicate with the command and control system to then effectively guide the effector to the UAS and defeat it. Now on the effector side, uh, we have both kinetic and non-kinetic effects. We have the ability to jam the threat, the UAS, and then we have uh, the Coyote Block II kinetic effector. And essentially that's a UAS itself, and it essentially flies out and has a warhead on it, and detonates and defeats the UAS. But we also have a high energy laser weapon system that we can integrate with the system and can be used for class one through two UAS and essentially defeat that using the high energy laser. This is really end to end defense against UAS, isn't it? It absolutely is. There are quite a lot of counter UAS systems out there. So what makes you different from everything that's out there? I think, well, the first thing is the pedigree of the system. So we've been uh, developing the system with the United States Army uh, for the last few years. And in the course of doing those tests, uh, defeated dozens and dozens of, uh, of UASs of various size, shapes, and in different mission scenarios. And then, you know, based on that success and based on an urgent need from the warfighter, this system is actually deployed, doing its job every day, protecting warfighters, defeating threats. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much, Alex.